You need a word from God today. You need the word. You have heard it been said, a man as good as his word, take him as his word. Let's go into the word and find out what you need today in his word to be made whole. We have been getting uh, comments in the privates of, of people needing prayer and needing the the word of God spoken into their life. Uh, We are in a hurting world. Uh, Bad things and situations is around you. You need a word. Uh, And so the ones that do not comment uh, where it can be seen is coming in the province. I see these things. I read these things. We are living in hurting time. Somebody, you need a word from God. God uh, to control situations in your life. Uh, and let's get into the Word. Amen. You know, it seems like, of course, everybody knows this, every word that the president speaks, they're hanging on every word that he says. Hanging on things. And so, words are important. And uh, you got to think about this. The Lord spoke the Word, and the worlds were created. People was created. Animals was created by speaking. A word is a single distinct element of speech or writing, a phrase of expression, an act of speaking. Like, for instance, she kept her word, a good word, a few words, upon my word, a man is as good as his word. So what does the enemy do uh, to people in an argument? Uh, is to speak evil words and uh, to say things to keep some kind of a fight going, negative things, arguments. So it's words back and forth, words back and forth. You can either have good or evil words. And really you need to overcome the evil with the good. And uh, so that's what the enemy uses also. He is the accuser of the brethren. How does he accuse you? With words. That's how he accuses us. So Hebrews 1, 3. Speaking of Christ, who is the brightness of his glory, the expressed image of his person, and upholding all things by his word of power. When he had by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. So here you go. Jesus is the word of power. He is also the word of God. He's the word made flesh. Words are important. So when you speak things out into the world into the universe you know you can cause things to happen and I'm not talking about witchcraft but Jesus told the disciples you could do like it was just done into this big tree he cursed the big tree and it withered and died and the disciples seen it and he said you can not only do what's done to the big tree but you can also speak to a mountain and say be removed and cast into a sea that's how powerful our words are so we need to watch our words our words are powerful amen Today I speak life unto you. I speak the name of Jesus Christ unto you. You need a word. A man as good as his word. I know a man who can take him as his word. That person lies. That word is no good. The word controls things around you. The way you use your words when you go out into the world controls your situation. If you're looking for a job, if you're looking to be a seller and knock on doors and sell items, you choose the right words to say to sell that item. If you're looking for a job and filling out an application, you better use the right words uh, to obtain that job. Uh, The way you speak, uh, it tells who you are. From the abundance of the heart, uh, the mouth speaketh. Uh, You need a word into your life today. And you need to speak uh, from the abundance of your heart uh, the word. Uh, You speak uh, things uh, before you. Uh, You do them. Uh, Like if you go to the store, you speak it before you go. Uh, Like before you take a vacation you speak and discuss it before you take that vacation and then you do it Uh, when you go to church you get your family ready and you go to church you do what you speak Uh, you cause things to happen Uh, 
today you are hurting. Today you're not feeling good. How powerful are you? You know by listening to your own self. Take a good look in the mirror and listen to your own words. Your words are connected with you. You cannot connect, disconnect your words from yourself. When you speak things, you are what you speak. You, you and your words is the same person and the same action is going to come from your words and what you speak. What are you speaking into your life? Your words, as I make this video right now, as I stand here before you, I will send it out to you by the video. But let me tell you, when you listen to this video and the words that I speak, it is me that's speaking what I'm telling you right now. For God so loved the world that He gave uh, His only begotten Son. And when He sent His Word out, uh, let me tell you, that great God was with Him. He is uh, the mouth of God, this Lord Jesus Christ. You need a Word in your life. Uh, you need the Word in your life. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. His Word is God. Your Word is you. What you speak, you bring into existence. When this great I Am in the first and the last spoke life into existence, it was the Word going forth. It was God. And you cannot separate His Word from Him. The Word of God. The Word of God. Jesus Christ, uh, the Word uh, of God uh, was made flesh uh, for you uh, and for the whole human race. Uh, John 1 and 14, and the world was made, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Thank you, Father, for coming now. And we beheld His glory as the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and full of truth. You need truth in your life. And that truth should be the Word of God. And that Word is God. Praise God. Psalms 119, 105. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You don't know which way to turn to. Don't know which way to go. Don't know what to choose in your life. The Word is a lamp. The Word is a lamp unto your feet. He will direct your path. Yes, He will. Psalms 119.11 Thy Word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against Thee. Put Jesus in your heart and you'll be a less sinning person against God Almighty. Put the Word in your heart and you'll be a less sinning than toward your Father in Heaven. We do not want against uh, sin against our God. We do not want, and you have to have the Word to do that. You have to have His Word. And He is not far from His words. Jesus said the words that He spoke was the words of His Father. Jesus said it. I believe it. And it's true. When He called all things into existence, uh, He said it. Uh, and let it be. Let it be. Let it be. God's Word spoke. Uh, that Word was Jesus Christ that was made flesh. Uh, God is not far from His Word. When Jesus came to this earth and spoke, He said, The one that sent me is also with me. Oh, you cannot leave your Word. Everywhere your Word go is you going. Praise God. Now you need someone to speak the Word in your life. And you need to speak the Word your own self. Because a man is as good as his words. Uh, what are you speaking to yourself? What are you saying to yourself? Well, are you bringing life or are you bringing death upon you? The way you talk, uh, the way you speak your words uh, is bringing life or death into your 
uh, life. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Oh, glory to God. And they that love uh, loves it shall eat the fruit thereof. Or do you love your words you're putting out? Do you love what you're saying about yourself? Do you love uh, um, the, the situation you're in? The power of the tongue is a tree of life. But proverb, you proverb, therein is a breach of the spirit. That's in Proverbs 15 and 4. It's what you're speaking. It's wholesome tongue talking or what words are coming out of your mouth. Matthew 21 and 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If you have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do that which is done to the fig tree, but also if you shall say to the mountain, Be thou removed, and be thrown and cast into the sea, it shall be done. Words, words. You speak it. You speak things into existence. God needs to be in your life. God can get into your life by His Word. His Word is not far from Him. He goes with His Word everywhere. Jesus is His Word. And the Father has never left the Word side. He is the mouth of God. He is the Prince of Peace, the mighty God who healeth thee. Are you using the Word that God has given you? In Psalms, 119 and 153. Consider my afflictions and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Praise God. We don't forget the law of God. Some people's breaking every law that they can and think they can still please God. It goes on to say, Plead my case and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked. For they seek not the statue. Great are the tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. Many are my persecutors and my enemies. Yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I behold the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy lovingness and kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one is righteousness, judgment, and doeth forever. The word was true from the beginning. The word is God Almighty. The word was with God and was God. You need the word in your life. Situations now, you can be made whole. By what you speak into your life. Speak the word of God. Put Jesus in your heart. Uh, Speak his word. Uh, He was in the beginning and he shall be at the end. This is the mighty God wants to do something for you. Use his word. Jesus Christ is the mouthpiece of God. Jesus Christ is the image of God. Jesus Christ is the Spirit of God. He said He would never leave thee nor forsaken you. You feel forsaken today? You have a mighty God that came in the flesh and said He'd never leave you. And how does He do that? He's here by His Spirit. Uh, That same God that went away came back uh, on the day of Pentecost in the Spirit and the Spirit fell upon every one of them. You need the Holy Holy Ghost to fall upon your life. You need the Word of God spoken to you right now. You need Jesus Christ who is the Word. Jesus Christ that gives the Word. Jesus Christ is the Word. And the power of that Word, He can save you out of your situation. Good things come to an end. And I'm going to cut this short. 